So uh, this video is going to show you and demonstrate uh, how to make an animation, a really simple animation to your to your printmaking image by adding something uh, to the picture as opposed to animating something that's already in your picture, like uh, how I had the tractor rolling up the hill before. So <clears throat> a really simple thing you can add would be like maybe clouds floating across the sky here. So to do that, I'm going to start by adding another layer and then drawing some really simple fluffy clouds. I have my uh, draw tool here, and then I've changed my brush to uh, size 200 pixel right there and then changed the softness to 15% so it's a little fluffy on the edges. And then I can just start drawing uh, some clouds up in the sky like this, like maybe flat on the bottom and then I'll puff you up here, and then I'll draw a smaller one over here. And this is all going on layer three over here. And then maybe like a really big one over here. Like that. That looks pretty good. And then like a really small one right there. Okay, so I'm going to have these clouds slowly drifting across the sky. Uh, so to start with, I'm going to use the Arrange tool and like maybe slide it over here a little bit. Okay, and that purple line at the top tells me that this layer is lined up perfectly with the, uh, the top of that image. So I'll start about right there uh, and then click File, Save, and I'll just call this Sunny Farm 1. It's uh, important that you put a number, a sequential number in there. Uh, that way when you have all these images saved, it keeps them in order for you. And then you got to wait five seconds. <clears throat> and then the next one, I'll slide it over just a little bit and then save it again. And this time it'll be Sunny Farm 2. You can bump this up to 100%, but 90% is pretty good. Just make sure it's on JPEG and click download. And you can see everything lining up down here as I save it. Um, for something going across your screen like that, I recommend you get at least like 20. And it's really easy to do. You just keep sliding these things over. File, save. This will be Sunny Farm 3, JPEG, 100%, download. Okay. Wait for this to close. Slide it over a little bit more. File, save. Uh, this is Sunny Farm 4. Download. <clears throat> Alright, I'm going to skip ahead a little bit because um, you guys get the uh, process going. So fast forward a little bit. I've made a bunch more of these, just slowly sliding the clouds across each time, clicking fi uh, File, Save, and adding a number each time. And now I'm up to 20. I'll click download, and now I can go to um, uh, gifmaker.me, click upload images, and then I'll find Sunny Farm 1 through 20, uh, and that'll be in uh, download. There they are. Sunny Farm 1 up to 20. Open. <clears throat> I'll pause this while this loads. So all my images have uh, loaded up and you can see a tiny thumbnail of what it's going to look like. Uh, and you can play with the speeds, like maybe I want it to go really fast uh, or slow it down. So this is uh, one frame every 3,700 milliseconds. And speed it up by moving it up over here. Like to For clouds, I would suggest they go kind of slow. And then when it looks good to you, click Create GIF Animation. And then please wait a moment and then download the GIF. And you'll see a pop-up over here. And 
and here's my finished GIF. See my clouds slowly moving across. So you can see that making small adjustments each time gives you a smoother and smoother animation. The more you change with each frame, then the, the more it's going to jump between each uh, as it tries to, as it creates the, uh, the GIF animation. Okay, so that's something to think about. Small adjustments each time. And uh, that's the simple animation.